What's going on everybody? Z here. Welcome back to some more No Man's Sky. Oh, what a beautiful day to be playing. I am excited. Hopefully you guys are too. Now, some things have happened since the first... Hey, it is really bright in here. Wow, it's really bright in here. This looks super weird. I don't know what's going on. Things just look different, you know? I don't get it. I don't get it. Anyways, things have happened uh, mainly. Let's talk about these things first. So, there was an episode I worked on in between the last one and this one, but it didn't work and there's issues and we'll talk about it however let's talk about this we have solar panels now they are generating 50 kp of power um so which is amazing and our battery here how much can the battery hold battery starts charging it says zero percent charge rate is two kp per second um okay so let's go ahead and let's actually Let's disconnect some things. Let's get uh, let's get this guy disconnected real quick. Uh, whoop, gone. Dunskis. Okay, is this charging faster now? Yes, charging much faster. <gasps> oh, look at that! Look at that! And this is only two percent charge. So, uh, solar panels look to be the way to go. Now you're gonna be asking yourself, wait, you unlocked solar panels? I did indeed. So I actually went out and I collected like sixty something salvage data. I did that in between episodes. And then I came back, started recording the episode, and I was like, you know what? What the heck? Heck with it. We're not doing it. Um, I had some issues. So let's go talk about said issues. One of which was the Nexus. I think it's called the Nexus. That's what they're, I think that's what they're calling it now. It's it's in the anomaly. It's the area, the multiplayer area. So there was, uh, there were some crashes. There were some bugs. Things wouldn't work. Uh, I encountered all of these, but there was a hot fix that came out this morning. That's right, it came out this morning. So hopefully, we're gonna go in there, we're gonna test it out, we're gonna see if everything works. Hopefully it does. And I wanna sh kind of show you where I got the stuff that I did. Also, <laughs> there's there's a lot, we did a lot. So I'm gonna try to do the best I can to cover everything. But ultimately, I wanna do some base building because there's a whole bunch of base building things and uh, I'm pretty excited about that. So, uh, let's just let's just go for it, let's go for it. Let's go get, go, get in the Nexus, get in the Anomaly and uh, we'll check things out. Hopefully everything works, and I will be sure to let you know if they don't. Again, this was a hot fix, so my guess is that, uh, let's go ahead and get this guy, Space Anomaly, fantastic. My guess is that we'll probably see a, uh, a few hot fixes coming out. This was just the first, and it claims to have addressed the big bugs, being crashing going into the Nexus. Let's see if it happens. Oh, that actually loaded very smoothly. Oh, hold on, let's see. Oh, oh, it's much better. Oh, it is so much better, okay. And there's an S-Class ship right there, gosh darn it. I need that one, look at that one, it's red. It's red and black, I need your ship. Can I please have that? Thank you, let me, let me have that. <laughs> um, but anyways. So, upgrades, stuffs, and things like that. So, this area already looks way better. Uh, this area should be loaded in, right? Yes. I actually came up here, and this whole area right here wasn't loaded in at one point. It is now functioning very well. This guy right here. So, if you guys remember, we have a construction research station down at our base. It's like a field research station. There's only certain things that you can unlock in there. However, if you go to this guy, this guy has all the good stuff. Yeah, it's got all the goods. So I went ahead, I unlocked the uh, the Roamer Geobay. So you'll see that we have the Roamer there now because we need a vehicle for, for going out and getting stuff. Uh, and I think I unlocked, what else did I unlock? I didn't unlock any like cosmetic stuff. Uh, we got the the solar panel. Uh, we got a electromagnetic generator when suitably placed in an area of high field strength basically gives you limitless power, near limitless power. So. Uh, we have to do that, but you'll notice it says locate appropriate sites with the surveying upgrade for the analysis visor. So we'll talk about that in a second as well. And then I also got a mineral extractor, kind of a basic mineral extractor, a supply pipe. And then um, once we get some more salvage data, we'll probably get these two guys, a gas extractor and a supply depot. And then I also got a proximity switch and a wall switch. That way uh, we can turn power on and off as needed. And then let's see, what else did I get? I didn't get anything in here. Um, I got a few metal things. I got a uh, metal floor, metal ramp, and metal roof, I believe. And I think those only costed, those were only like one a piece. Oh, and I also got paving. This was, uh, I think this was only one as well. 
So I got that guy so we can do some like custom base building stuff. And the storage container, it was still locked. I had to unlock it, unfortunately, which is weird because I already have storage containers. But anyways, that's a thing. It is now unlocked. And then uh, I can't get the Galactic Trade Terminal yet. I have probably have to proceed with the missions and stuff. But that is where you go to find a little bit more advanced stuff. Now, I don't know how things unlock. I'm going to I'm gonna say probably with... Uh, probably by playing the game, they're going to unlock. But, um, but yes, so... Let's go to, was it you? Yes, multi-tool research guy. So this guy right here, he's basically one of the uh, the people that sells multi-tool upgrades. So I went ahead, I picked up a, um, I picked up the optical drill, an S-class optical drill, and I picked up the A-class surveying device. Now, of which I have most of them installed already. Let's go to multi-tool. Uh, so you see right here, all I need left all I have left is a sodium diode for both. So we have the surveying device. I need three sodium diodes. And we have a optical drill, S-class optical drill, which gives us 50% 50 more uh, items uh, mined. So that's handy. But I need sodium diodes for that. <laughs> I need sodium diodes. So uh, all looking good. Everything's functioning here. I'm really happy to see that. But, um, but yes, so we are going to head back pretty sure that's it. I don't see a galactic trade terminal. I wonder if there's anybody, if you can trade with people. Like, if there's, like, standard people you can trade with. I don't think so. Hmm. I'm not positive. Anyways, we're gonna head back. Uh, I'm gonna stop in the space station because, I, like I said, I need some sodium diodes to get some things unlocked. Uh, but once we get those, we're gonna head back and we're gonna start playing with things. And, yes, so hopefully that got you guys caught up. I do apologize if that's not what you were looking for, but I wanted to get you kind of spun up what was going on with what. Um, and yeah, so Hotfix hopefully fixes your issues, and it should be live on all platforms as of now. As of now, it should be should be good to go. And we're back at the base, so I decided not to wait around for the uh, for for the sodium diodes. I just I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Um, okay, but I'm curious. Let's see how our powers. Oh, how's our power doing? Eighty nine percent charge. That means we're generating more power during the day than we need. Power grid is fifty available. So these things are kind of weird. I don't know, like they don't always like show up as like open and on, but they're online. They're generating 25 a piece, but I think they generate up to 50 once they're like fully open and ready to go. So uh, we are still generating power, which is good, but we only have the stuff in here running and not the stuff in here. And I want to get the stuff in here running. <laughs> also, I don't know what's up with my door. I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea, but I want to do some base building stuff. That's the idea. That's the plan. Um, I picked up some ferret dust. I have 1925 uh, ferret dust. So we should be able to do some base building stuff. And I'm actually kind of thinking that I want to do some of the... Where are the mod... Oh, wait. Hold on. Wrong tool. Let's go into here. Structures. Uh, is it large or is it going to be small? Cuboid room. These are kind of what I wanted to do. But they're kind of they're kind of pricey. Each one of these guys is 200 So I'm thinking what we're going to do is I want to place down a bunch of these, um, not that one. I want to place down a bunch of the uh, the floor deals, the little floor McDealiers. Uh, large, specialist, basic, metal, floor panel. I want to place a whole bunch of these down so we can kind of have like a nice little area. They're only 20 fair at a piece. Uh, we do have an additional thing. Where are, there is a aquatic foundations paving. So these guys are only five. However, I think it would take, if I'm not mistaken, it would take what? One, if this was over here, one, two. They're not quite the same size. Oh, they're not meant to be. They're meant to like snap on. Oh, I get it. Okay, so they're meant to be little foundations. Anyways, I want to get some, some foundations down and I want to take these down, rebuild some stuff, get some things ready to rock and roll. So I think that's what we're going to do. Um, um, hmm. Can I move you? I need to move this because I kind of want to just cover like this whole little area in these and like place these on this. That way everything is all nice and good looking, I guess. Hmm. All right. Let's uh, let's try to do this here. All right. So base building going a little going a little rough here. Uh, trying to figure things out, get things going. You can't really place these down and have these buildings on top of them. It looks like they want to snap, but they don't. As soon as you remove them, they're good. Uh, I got this one in here by pure luck, and I think it's because it kind of snapped on this side right here. And another thing that I just realized 
is I don't think these stations right here do anything anymore. I don't I don't think these are a thing. Because I was looking through and I was like, wait a second, I can't build my, my specialist terminal. They're they're not here. Uh and I I don't think they're a thing anymore because of the uh the way that you go through and play the game now. I don't think that these are actually a thing because they used to be under uh structures a specialist foundations. They're not here. <laughs> they're definitely they're definitely not here uh i i mean i could be completely wrong they might be in they might be something you have to unlock they might be i have apps i have absolutely no idea to be completely honest no idea super weird anyways so uh yes but we are doing some base building stuff and i want to get these all removed okay we got that one removed but i want to uh i want to be able to put all my storages in one area so i think we're gonna have I'm trying to think how I want to do this because the storage modules can connect to the T modules. So if I put T module, T module and have storage in one area, and then I want to have it uh, basically go into a large cuboid like room. That way we can have the, the farming stuff. So like these two rooms, I really don't need these for, I don't know what I'm going to put in here. I, I really have, I have actually no idea what I'm going to put in here, except like the farming stuff. I, I want to put farming stuff, but you can't put, I don't think you can really put farming stuff in here. <laughs> You know, I don't even know. I don't even know half the time. Um, okay. So, continuing on, let's go with the cuboid rooms, right? These can connect to here, and then they should be able to connect out and make a giant room. So, I should be able to put one... Wait, cuboid room takes pure ferrite? <gasps> oh, I only got regular ferrite. Mm, that is a minor thing. That's a minor thing. <laughs> oh, darn it. Uh, yeah, I got, I got ferrite dust. Okay, so pure fire for those. And then what I have been doing, though, is I've been placing these and, like, removing them because it makes it, like, all nice and flat right here. So that's kind of handy. But, uh, yeah, that's that's how we're going right now. But base power is looking great. Uh, this thing's, like, almost fully stored. Uh, why aren't you charging? It is charging. But, oh, yeah, it is charging. It's charging up right now. Okay, cool. Uh, but we're going to eventually move all this stuff into here. Minus the teleporter. I think the teleporter is going to hang out outside. But, like, all these guys need to get moved. Uh, these guys need to be moved. Actually, can I pick these up? No, I can't. Okay. All right. So, large refiner. Let's go ahead and place some... Uh, let's just do the ferrite dust. And that'll give us pure ferrite. Okay, fantastic. We're not going to get hardly any of those rooms out of this. Wow. Wow, that's expensive. Jeez Louise. Actually, it's not really that expensive. Purifier is super cheap. But, um, yes, the base is coming along. We're getting there. I promise we will. There they are. Oh, okay. All right. All right. We found... Wait, terminals. Yes. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say, I was like, wait a second. What is going on here? Okay, so construction terminal. You can go there. Will these... Is it one per room? <gasps> it's not one per room. Construction... Scientist. Oh, yes, they're not one per room anymore. This is amazing. Okay, and then weapons. Oh, awesome. Oh, okay. All right. I, I was a dummy. There was a whole specialist tech area that I completely just... I Yeah, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, so there's those. Uh, the farmer I'm going to probably have in the cuboid room area. And I kind of wish I could... Hmm. I might actually deconstruct this guy. Because I don't know that I'm going to need to deconstruct, that I'm going to need this. Let's just go ahead and deconstruct that guy. There we go. All right. Uh, and then I kind of want to just put the cuboid rooms in here and just kind of fill this up. So it's like one big room so we can put the farming stuff and things like that in there. And then we can also tee off into a storage area. All right. There's a little farming dude. And here's our, it's our room. Why is it all red? Oh, it's because it's not powered. So here's a little farming room. Yeah, working on the expansion stuff. I got this part all moved out. <gasps> it's looking great. It's looking great. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie. I'm loving it. Loving it so far. Uh, now, the next question I have is tech uh, storage. Will these attach? I'd like these attached to maybe this side. They will attach right here. Okay, so if I rotate, have them all facing inwards. Okay, perfect. So we can have storage. This could be our like mass storage area. Actually, 
How's this going to look if I put it... How would this look if I put it like right here? Will that work like that? That might work like that. And then we could have along this side right here is storage. And then that's going to be our main room. Okay. All right. Looking good. Things are working. I'm liking it. All right. Things are starting to look a little bit better. As you can see, we have a room. We have some storage modules. I will be changing this. Do not worry. So it goes zero, one, two, three, so on and so forth. Uh, and I think we can get what? Nine, nine of them, I think. Let's go structures, storage. Uh, looks like not. Well, 10 technically because you have zero. So we can get 10 in total, which means I need to get uh, 10 of these keyboard rooms, which would be a lot of the two. Th was it 2000? No, two, 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 two. Yeah, it'd be 2000. Uh, 2000 purifier. So to extend it 10 out that way. And then we'll probably end up wrapping this around a little bit. Uh, so this might not be the main entrance right here. So we might bring it out around here a little bit. Now, I, you could say that, oh, well, why are you doing that when you can just have these? I like these like this because it gives you the custom, custom options to do things. So like we can have this entire wall be our storage and then we'll have plants and whatnots in here to do the farming stuff and then all that kind of fun stuff. So that is the plan so far. Let's go ahead and connect up some power so we can get some, uh, some stuff's going. Power, power. Electrical wire, you to right. Let's put it back here. Boom. Good to go. All right. What's power draw now? Uh, 91 used, 100 available. This thing is completely full. I feel like we should throw another battery on here. Do I have the stuff for another battery though? Power. Uh, battery. Magnetized ferrite and condensed carbon. Okay. So I'll need to get that. But now, oh, look at the base. Oh, look at that. Doesn't it look so nice? It looks so nice now. Okay, perfect. So let's go ahead and put the things that I'm not using currently in there. Let's put these effort, like all these things, these random like deals in there. Uh, that's pretty much all we had for that one. And I don't wanna, I don't really wanna put this one, anything in this one because I'm gonna have to like move stuff around. We're gonna have to play musical, uh, musical storage just <laughs> to get everything in, but uh, that's looking good. Let's just throw let's salt, throw a salt refractor in there and the mordite in there for now. Okay, cool. Now I have a little, how much? I have 1500 pure ferrite. That's fantastic. Let's go ahead and expand this out so I can get these storages on air. All right. How's that looking? Zero, one, two, three, four, five. Oh yes. Oh, this is going to be nice. All our power is going to be one place. We can run wires. Uh, oh, we don't even have to run wires because they're connected to the base. That's amazing. They, these things don't have to be powered all the time. <gasps> Ooh, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, how do we do the proximity switches? Because I don't need, like, I don't need these powered all the time. And actually, you know what? I bet you our power situation just went like terrible. Uh, let's see what our let's let's see what our power draw is now. Power draws 146. 000. Yeah, those need proximity switches. Okay. So how does one make that tech? Power industrial technology, uh, power, electrical, where's the switches? Proximity switch, carbon. Oh, I just need carbon for that? Shoot, too easy. All right, so carbon. We have some carbon. Now, I'm curious if these just plug into these guys. Let's go ahead and check. Switches proximity. So let's say right there. Ooh, but it's not attached. What if it's just right here? Let me delete this guy. Okay, so how does this thing... How do you... Oh, it's going to have to be wired. Okay, I see what's going on here. Wait, can I leave it like that, though? Let's see if I can wire it just like that. So this guy to there. Oh my gosh. And we come over to it. It turns on. We walk away. It turns off. Did it actually turn off though? <gasps> Probably not because it's attached to the building itself, huh? Hmm. Hold control to access wiring. Well, that's not quite it. <laughs> that's just, that's not quite it. Uh, we'll just go ahead and delete that guy. 
Wait, what? Delete. Okay, perfect. Uh, so that didn't work out as, as quite as planned. Hmm. So how do I... How would I put a switch onto that building? Hmm. Yeah, see, these are the questions of life right now. Is if... Okay, go to switches. Where's the switches? Switches. Okay, just a wall switch, right? So that means I'd have to actually physically turn the base power on and off. So it might be who of us to not have them connected. It might actually be better to have these not connected so we could turn power off if we're not using it. Maybe. So like ideally we could throw a switch here. Missing component. Oh, I'm missing the ferret dust. Darn it. <laughs> Uh, so we could put a switch on here, route it to this guy, and then just flip the switch, turns everything on, we go in, do what we need to do, flip the switch, turn everything off, and then we're not out of power all the time. Hmm. Okay. I guess that's, uh, that's a thing. That is a thing. Alright, so I mean, I guess that, that's a work for now. So, we have this guy, right there, um, and then we can flip this switch, turns the power on, the whole base comes on, fantastic, looks great. Uh, now, we need to actually put a switch on these doors. So, I think a proximity switch is going to be fantastic for the door. Uh, but, that's what we're going to have to do for now for the base until we get, you know, things figured out. And we have more power and situations and stuff like that. Because we just don't really have the power yet, <laughs> unfortunately. But, I do want to check out the other power stuff that we have. And we also have some mining stuff, too, that could be fun to play with. Alright, so I got some more stuff done. Yeah! We got a power switch over here, controlled this guy. Fantastic. But, I think we need more batteries. Because we do not have enough power storage right now. So I want to put it... What on earth? Wait, where is this attaching to? What? Oh, you could put these in the base. That's kind of cool. And it like shows you... Oh, you can put one here. You can put one here. <gasps> oh, neato. Alright, cool. So I think we're going to put one right here. Missing component, Kines car. Oh, <laughs> I have to get the Kines carbon. Um, also, the mining laser. The hotter it gets, the faster it mines. It's amazing, and I don't. It's it's awesome. It's fantastic. I, that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> oh no! No 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 no! What did I put? What is down there? Hold on. What is? What is what is down here? What? What are you doing here? What the heck is happening? <laughs> what are you doing? I don't even know what happened there. I must have accidentally placed one down there. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's funny. Let's go ahead and rotate that guy. Put one there. Uh, magnetized ferrite. I'd like to get a couple batteries to be honest. Let's grab some more. Let's grab some magnetized ferrite first. Uh, pure ferrite. Uh, ferrite dust. How much more is it going to make? Okay. I need a little bit of ferrite dust, but not a lot. So I'll wait for this to get done. Um, and I'll make a little bit of magnetized ferrite. All right. I should have enough to make, I hope, two more. Whoops. Incorrect. No. Wrong. Perfect. Uh, one there. And, okay. All right. That, that works. So this guy to here. This guy to to there. Those aren't connected. Alright, let's just do that. Alright, how's that? Okay, why aren't these depleted? Generating. Is it because this is off? Toggle power flow. Oh! Toggle power flow. Oh, we just had to mess with it. Okay, cool. Storing... Is this guy storing? Oh, it is. Is this guy storing? <gasps> yes. So does it say like overall how much power storage I have? Hmm. 20 kilowatts power use. What's using power right now? Oh, it's probably this guy. Turn that off. Wait, are these going? No, they're empty. Okay. So we should be using like no power. Zero power use. Fantastic. We are collecting. I thought I just saw a dude. I thought I thought. I, oh, it was me. It was me. Okay. 
<laughs> all right so we are storing some mass amounts of power this guy is at two percent fantastic oh look at that they're not all perfectly lined up but hey what can you do so there's our temporary power solution we could get more uh more solar panels to do more things but i think that's good for now i'm liking where things are going looking nice uh things are working out so oh oh hold on we got we have more we have more stuff we can place more rooms so let's go structures small cuboid room and I want to place them on these guys right now. Perfect. I don't know how many I can make, but should be a few. Whoa, whoops. That was wrong. What just happened? <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> uh, cuboid room. Perfect. Okay. So a little low on that. Um, I think I was about to say, I was like, there is another dude in here. But it's, it's that guy. <gasps> Look at this. Oh, our room is growing. It's fantastic. Five, six, seven, eight, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. That's exactly how many I need for more uh, more storages. <gasps> Wonderful. Our base is coming together. It is. It's it's happening. It's a thing. So I also want to get into the, uh, the, the, where is it at? I think it's under tech. Power industry, industrial. This stuff. Mineral extractor. Now, I don't know where i actually have to put this chromatic metal 100 that's actually not that bad let's let's check that out too real quick chromatic metal 100 chromatic metal uh i feel like something has chromatic metal in it do you have chromatic metal for me you have there's four in there the starship no the multi-tool no exocraft chromatic metal the freighter probably has it all um there's some condensed carbon. Where did all of my, where did all my stuff go? Did I put it in, did I put it in storage? No, did I? I have no idea where all of my chromatic metal went. Or my copper, because we were, we were making it. We were duplicating it over here. Well, we weren't, it wasn't really duplicating, but why is it all gone? Hmm. I'm not exactly sure to be honest. All right, we're gonna go grab some copper. We're gonna take our rover with us. <gasps> yeah. Boost. <laughs> I love that you can just drive through everything. I'm pretty sure I've already gathered this copper deposit over here. But I guess we'll find out, won't we? Uh, this thing is not the fastest. And we definitely need to uh, include the scanner on this bad boy. All right, let's see if we can do the, uh, the whole chromatic metal thing again. So I put copper here. And I put chromatic metal. Where's my chromatic metal at? Chromatic metal here. That'll give me 28 copper. So we have seven and seven. Okay. And then we go ahead and do... Oh, wait, we gotta grab it. Put it in here. And we want half. So we'll go ahead and begin. And stop. We'll put that here. More copper, another 28. I think it still works. It does indeed. I th I think it's, I think it's a thing. Yep, yep, still good. Awesome, okay, cool. So we are good. We have, uh, we have the copper stuff again. <laughs> I was worried, I was like, no. And I, I honestly thought they were gonna fix this because it's kind of a it's an amazing bug to have it works much better when you have full stacks of stuff but oh my gosh these stacked like ten thousand. can you imagine how much stuff you could like duplicate at one time oh man that'd be a lot that'd be a lot a lot okay so let's go ahead and do that uh i'm gonna take like half the stack good oh, oh stop okay fine fantastic then there put that in there Wonderful. All right, so we have, we have the chromatic metal, uh, and we needed that for the mining thing. Do I have enough for that though? Like, I didn't get a whole lot of, a lot of stuff. Uh, no. Oh, I need a hundred. Okay. All righty. Never mind then. Well, that is actually gonna end this episode, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. Next episode, I'm hoping to hit the, um, the, uh, the, the mining kind of stuff. I want to check that out. Also, we need to get our upgrade we need to get this surveying 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 device and we need the optical drill 
uh, the S-Class one. So that'll help us get more stuff as well. Hopefully we'll get that in the next episode. But as always, you guys have a fantastic week and I'll see you in the next one.